Hello cherry lovers. Today I'm going to attempt if it don't rain on me. It's going to probably take me a couple days, but there's been people wanting to know how I put this first well down and how to drive a sandpoint well. So today we're going to get started doing that. And unfortunately, the reason why I'm doing this video is because as you guys can see, my other well the sand point plug down below. I thought I was going to be able to pull that, put a new point down, and turn right around and put the point back down, and then we got water again. Well, as you can see, let me step out of the way so you guys can see this. That's how far I got that sand point well pulled up. It uh, took me and, uh, as I call him, my uh, stepson Micah, which is my buddy, my son's buddy, and he's been around for years, he tried to help me. We didn't film it as we were trying so hard. We worked our guts off trying to get it up that far. I ruined a three ton floor jack trying to get that up this far. We went and bought a 20 ton bottle jack and tried to pull this and it wouldn't budge. I don't know what it's stuck on down there because everybody I talk to says that should come up yeah and let me okay let me go a little farther and tell you our ground here I talked to the USDA the guy that we have around here and he gave me a study on what this is my ground is there's 80 feet of grayling sand that's how far they can go down grayling sand is just a yellow sand he says there is very or little to none, no rocks. So I don't know what it is, whether we've got a vacuum lock or it just, it gets so far up. Uh, the well point that I had had quite a, where the threads were, it had a quite a big, you know, joint on it. And maybe it doesn't go up, I don't know. But we got that far in two days. So I decided in two days, I drove that well in three. So I told him, I'm going to go find out how much well pipe is. And I only have to go down 24 feet. Well, my sand point is only three feet, three and a half feet. I bought 20 feet to go down like this one. I know there's water down there. So I'm going to move it over. Oh, I don't know. Enough to where I can still use my, my uh, wire or my electrical to get the pump running and we'll see what's going but right now like I said it's wow I kept telling him I'm not going any farther so I went into town well, might as well tell you the guys the whole story I went into town and the guy told me for 20 feet of uh, well pipe it's uh, $119 about $146 with some couplers so and the drive so this is what I'm going to try to do by hand, okay? I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to get it done because the last time, like I said, I got down about 18 feet and it wouldn't go any farther. So then I drove, kept driving another day or two and it went down about oh, an inch or two all the time till it finally started moving a little faster. So a lot of times people tell you when you're driving it, when you're getting close to the water down there, they got what they call a hard pan around the water. So maybe that's what was the case. Maybe I can't get through the hard pan here. I don't know, but I know I'm going to try and drive this. If, if I can't drive this by hand with a tamper or a maul, which I did the last time, then I, what I'm going to do is the hardware in town says they've got a brand new electric ja uh, jackhammer. And he told me, come here, Larry, let me look and show you this. He's got a fitting that fits over top of the drive coupler, and he says that should do the trick. I don't know if I'm going to have to do that or not, but he says approximately $125 a day. I don't know. I will see how far the old 65 or 66-year-old arms is going to take me, but I think I can do it. I'm going to try. Like I said, we're going to use post hole diggers first and go down as far as we can and then start driving if the weather permits uh been looking on the radar and rain is moving in 
So I don't know how far I'm going to get on this, but I do know that sometime in the next three, four days, I'm going to film it all for you guys and demonstrate what I'm doing so you guys got an idea of how to put down a sand point well by hand or by <laughs> a jackhammer. We'll see because he said that jackhammer is about 80 pounds. If that's the case, then I'm going to have to stand on a a platform of some sort or whatever but as you can see if you look around I use my six by sixes I'm going to use for the high tunnel that we're going to get done after I get this done because I don't want to put the high tunnel up and get it all covered in and then those trees can't get water so I got to get the water for the garden I got to get the water for everything that this farm needs so as you can see, the pipe is up there. What I'm going to do is take that pipe off after I get the well drove. And then I'm going to just cap that well because I would rather cap it and seal it even though they, they want you to anyways. Seal the top off. That way there, there's no contaminants or anything getting into the groundwater. And then it's sealed up nice and tight. But all I'm going to do is go over, I would say from here, maybe three feet over and start driving that well. So... Let's get started. I just thought I'd stop a minute and tell you guys what we're going to do. This video will probably come out today, this part. Uh, the rest of it will probably come after the rain. I can see it getting darker and darker. So probably in the next couple days after this video comes out, you guys will get to see me drop this well. I'm going to go inside right now in the shed and I'm going to show you front my truck and inside the shed what kind of stuff I'm going to be using. So let's get started. Okay, people, here's what I got. This is what I'm going to be using to get this done. I went out and purchased all this stuff. I've had the hand pump from the last time, but the pump, this right here, I got 20 feet. It's well pipe. It's one, one and a quarter inch well pipe. And this is what I did before. And then I've got my drive point it's a sand shallow well sand point well or point anyways i'm going to screw this onto the end with a coupler which i've got them for each one and pipe dope and we put a drive we screw on the top of it to drive it with a drive cap that's my goal like i said about 80 some dollars for that 114 for this Everything right here, roughly, I say at 140, 160 tops. And I know the water's down there. It's just the hard labor that I got to go about putting it down. Like I said, I don't have this type in the ground. My problem is what I'm thinking's happened. This part of the point that's in the ground that I put down there before is much bigger. What I think has happened was as that's coming up, the sand is packing in here. And I don't know, there might be some stones down there. I doubt if there's even roots down there. But I've only brought it up 8 feet. So if you're down 24 feet, I still got X a number of feet down there. So I don't know if that's causing it not to come up. But there's no way. Like I said, 20 ton bottle jack. And you can't even move it. We took us, like I said, four hours, two days really, to try and get it seven feet. So, no. I told him it would be cheaper. Mike, I says, hey, let's just quit. Let it go. I'll cap this one. I'll redrive another one. Because as many hours as I've taken, I could have had that one three quarters of the way. A new one drove down. So, that's what I plan on doing, you guys. I don't... Uh, Got a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, I was hoping I could start this today, but as the radar is showing, probably within 45 minutes or so, I'll be in a downpour, and they're saying most of the day. But as soon as it stops raining, I'm coming back out here and get started again and get the, everything prepped over there and ready to go. I'll bring you guys along. Like I said, this video is probably coming out today. Uh, the rest of it showing you how to put the well down and all the hard work I got to do to get it down there is coming. So just stay tuned and keep watching. And if you guys like this video, 
hit a thumbs up, like and subscribe up there. We appreciate you guys stay, <laughs> coming along. You hear my voice saying, you know, I'm just just a little bit disgusted. You know, I've had we've had a lot of problems here on the farm and and but that right there usually from what everybody says is an easy way, easy. It put you can pull it and have that taken care of, but that ain't coming out no matter how how, how hard you try. I had a 30-year-old guy, young guy there, Micah, my buddy, and my son's buddy, he couldn't get it, and uh, yeah, so I don't know. I probably could get a well man to come in here. They've got a few up here, but uh, last time I checked, uh, they wanted somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 just to pull the point, which I know they can with their machinery. Pull that point, put another one down, and in my opinion, that's too expensive for me and for what I'm using the well for. Three days of hard labor for 160 bucks to get me water. I guess it's worth putting the labor into. So you guys have a good one. Uh, I'm getting ready. I'll probably go in here and edit this video and put it out because I know that rain's coming. I'm going to do a little more getting prepped and ready to go. And then I'm going to get started on this and bring you guys along for all of it and show you guys step by step how to put a sand point well down or how I did so you guys have an idea because just one thing more before I let you go that's sand out there I don't know in your area how deep your water table is ours is only 10 feet but that's sand you guys might have a harder time getting it down so I'm gonna let you go talk to you guys later and on the next video you'll see me attempting to put this down step by step talk to you guys later bye now